Hey guys, it's Chris. Today we are going to be talking about flat towing laws around the United States and Canada. Uh, this isn't something we've really ever addressed here on the channel, but we have talked about it pretty extensively over on the website. We've even got a great graphic up there that's gonna kind of cover a lot of what we're gonna cover here. So if you, you know, need a refresher on anything after this video is over, you can always rewatch it, but you can also check out that graphic as well. So like I said, we're gonna be covering the United States and Canada primarily. We do have folks that use our braking system in New Zealand and South Africa, and even in certain parts of Europe. And unfortunately, we're not going to cover those areas. So if you do live in one of those countries, make sure that you are double checking with local authorities to make sure that you're following the flat towing uh, laws that are in effect in whichever country you're in. So United States and Canada, there's going to be a lot of consistency among flat towing laws, even though the specifics of those can vary pretty heavily. Uh, so the most common way of determining whether or not you need a braking system is going to be a weight threshold. This is true in Canada where that's pretty much the only uh, metric and then in the United States where most states probably somewhere north of 35, 40 of them, it's a weight threshold. So there is a lot of variance as far as what weight is the determining factor, but as a general rule of thumb, three to 4,000 pounds is gonna be a pretty good uh, kind of Goldilocks number uh, as far as whether or not you're gonna need a braking system. So there are some states like New Hampshire where that weight threshold is 1,500 pounds. So as soon as you get above 1,500, you need a braking system. Other states like Massachusetts, it's 10,000 pounds. So you don't need a braking system up to a 10,000 pound threshold. Uh, but again, that three to 4,000 pounds crops up quite a bit uh, within those flat towing laws. So that's kind of a general overview of weight threshold. Another common metric is by stopping distance. So that'll also determine in some states whether or not you need a braking system. The most common uh, standard there is gonna be about 40 feet at 20 miles per hour. So that's kind of the ratio they're looking for. As Soon as you can no longer meet that stopping distance threshold, they're going to require you to have a braking system. And to be honest with you, most cars are gonna fall uh, in that threshold because as soon as you put a car in the back of a motorhome, it's gonna be tough to meet that stopping distance standard. So uh, again, that's kind of the second most common one. And then there is one state in the union, which is Missouri, which does not require a braking system at all. Uh, the only downside here, you may be in Missouri, you may be thinking, great, I don't need a braking system. The downside there is that as soon as you travel over the border into another state, you're subject to that state's flat towing laws. So it's really only practical if you're traveling within the state of Missouri. So even if you live in Missouri where there, those laws are, you know, don't require you to have a braking system, it's probably important that you get one. Uh, in Canada, there are no states like that, or provinces, I should say, that are like Missouri that don't have any laws about that. Uh, pretty much every province is going to require it in some form or another, mostly by that weight threshold. And then the only exception would be the Northwest Territories where a braking system is required, period, all times. Uh, it doesn't matter weight or stopping distance, it's just required. That's gonna be a general overview, again, of the United States and Canada, uh, even if your vehicle maybe doesn't meet a certain weight threshold or stopping distance threshold and you think, hey, I may not need one, we would always encourage you to have a braking system. And that's not just from the standpoint of we sell a braking system, that's from the standpoint of it's a safety thing. It really is critical. Even if your vehicle isn't heavy enough to meet a certain weight threshold, it can still create drive under, it can still push you forward into traffic and create a lot of safety hazards. So there's a reason why this is a legality thing in most states and it's because of that fact. It's a very key safety feature. So we would always encourage you to have a braking system. Again, our RVI Brake Shadow and our RVI Brake 3 are gonna be great options for you. So if you've got questions on either of those braking systems or on anything else we've covered in this video, don't hesitate to reach out. We are available by phone, chat, or email. And guys, in the meantime, happy RVing.